I'm gonna ask them to turn down the music. And just like that, there was no more music. <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Action. All right. Well, this is the second filming. Yes. The first filming was on the weird ethereal halo setting, yes. which doesn't work. <laughs> so. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm using a different camera today. So just as a heads up, this camera does not have a stabilizer. So if it gets a little bit um, shaky, that would be the reason why. So uh, we're just going to have to deal with it today. I'm going to do my yeah. best to film it, but I just want to give you guys a little bit of a warning. Anyway, we're about to head into the Goodwill. We are switching things up today. We're gonna go to the Goodwill first and see what we can find. Yes. We can flip for a profit. So here we go. So stay tuned for more shaky video. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Let's see what we can get. All right. They've changed up their little. They changed up. That's because yes. they they went and now they can sell the stuff. Yes. So. They've probably sold some of their Halloween stuff. We do love the display though. Yes. Very fancy. Just... Okay, well the music is really loud and uh, Casey has nowhere to be found to turn it down for us. I'm hoping this directional mic is going to kind of work out for us, but if not, I'm going to have to overlay music so that I don't get a copyright strike. So we're going to see how it goes, um, but if I do have to overlay music, you'll know why. Now let's check out what we have here on the shelves. Nothing immediately jumping out at me. Um, except for this beautiful watering can. <laughs> Just kidding, maybe not. Oh my gosh, but look below the watering can. What do we have here? But that's Japan. It's a very light. Very, very light. So I'm gonna say Japan. Not that it matters, uh, but we're gonna grab this owl here and put it in the cart. And then what is this? What do we have here? Now uh, this on the other hand is super heavy. Uh, for $2, we'll take that as well. All right, let's see. These are adorable. Lots of puppies today. Oh, hello, decanter set. This is kind of a neat decanter set, but it's missing its stopper, and it's $7 without the stopper and only three glasses. Three glasses technically is not a set. <laughs> for a set, you need an even number, so this isn't gonna work out for us. We're gonna leave it here for seven bucks. And we're gonna keep going. Let's see what else we've got here. Here's a nice planter. I mean, we, take, we have a lot of green ones. I don't, there's just, oh, look, somebody actually drilled holes in the bottom of that one. For three bucks, I'll take that planter. I usually get like about 12 to 15 for those. So there's a little bit of profit to be made on that one. And this guy. No, no thank you. here. Oh, ashtrays. These are kind of nice, actually. Marika. Maurice. Unfortunately, these have lots of chipping. You can see the chipping here, so I think I'm going to leave these here because of the chipping. We're going to look down, and there's a wolf and, like, a jaguar creature. Oh, look at this owl. <laughs> He's so cute. He's made of resin. Goodness gracious, he's modern. He's made of resin, but for $2, I will take an owl creature. I love owls. I usually make an exception for modern when it comes to owls. Got another one back here. 
Looks like Home Co. Ah, Norleans. Figurine for a dollar. Another okay, fine. Owls. Today is the day of owls. All right. Now let us check the next aisle. Oh wait, we never even looked at the blue. Okay, we're gonna backtrack and look at the blue and see if we can find anything over on this side. Ah, oh, that music is so loud. I really hope it's not bad. I feel like it is. I feel like the music is gonna get us in trouble today. Oh, oh hello little cactus planters. Eh, they've got modern stickers underneath those Goodwill stickers. So we will skip those. Got some boxes. Hat boxes. Mmm, I do like that. But my goodness, would that be a pain to ship? It's so heavy. I can barely even hold it. Oh, but that is really pretty. That would just be a pain to ship. Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, that's old. I love the discoloration on that. I mean, most people would be turned off by that and run away. But the fact that it doesn't have any chips or cracks and only has discoloration and it's a dollar, I'll absolutely take this. And if Andrew doesn't want to keep it, then I'll sell it. All right, let's see. What else can we find in blue? All right, I think that might be all we can find in blue, except for this pot. Hmm, maybe not. All right, into the next aisle. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, I like that a lot. And it's interesting because when we're at the flea market and whenever we see Eric and we go picking at Eric's area at the flea market, almost all the stuff we pick has this exact same tag on the bottom of it, this red tag. So it's curious that this little cup would have that same exact tag. I don't know if maybe it came from the same lot or what, but I really love the colors on that. So it's unfortunate we don't have a saucer to go with it. But it's got some age, so why not? Now this, on the other hand, oh my gosh. Um, I usually avoid this. This is a flash color. The glass isn't actually green and yellow. It's flash, and you can kind of see there where the flashes started to come off. And that really, if I, I mean, these, these aren't typically very valuable to begin with. And uh, when the color starts coming off, they, <laughs> they're really not valuable. All right, this looks like it might glow. Maybe not, probably not. All right, come on, where's the treasure? Oh my goodness. All right. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys off and I'll get back to you in a few minutes. And oh my gosh, have we hit the mother load of little cactus planters. <laughs> oh, here's the thing. Oh, I know, they're all over the other side. It looks like they were $7 originally. They're, they're different colors. Oh, I know, they're everywhere. They are cute. I think they're made, they're made to look old and they actually have that fake crazing that we're always talking yes. about. Man, I'm gonna have to overlay music this time. Oi. I hate having to overlay music. Oh, that's beautiful. I think so. Yeah. There's another one, another French pipe. That one's my favorite. I, well, I think so. And what are you? Italy. That's pretty though. It is. I approve. All right. Well, here. It gets my approval. Your approval. Ooh, what do you have here, Sue? Oh okay. my, look it's at that. It's a whole that. batch of little stuff. Yes, but this. Yes, and that's what I am buying it for. But this one is also marked China. I don't know what this is, but this is my little bag of 97 cents ah. worth of stuff. 
including a nice little Chinese teacup. I love that Chinese teacup. All right, so they are coming. Nice. Um, what are you looking for? Where's our Goodwill person? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna ask them to turn down the music. You're gonna ask them to turn down the music? Yes. Oh my gosh, I only feel comfortable asking Casey to turn down the music. Um, no, I'm going to ask. It's it is really loud. It's obnoxiously loud, even for just shopping and not filming. And just like that, there was no more music. <laughs> I guess Sue asked them to. Oh! Oh, there she is! <laughs> Casey to the rescue! <laughs> yes, as always. <laughs> Back on the she was hiding from us. <laughs> Guess what? what? I just spotted Fenton on the show. Where? All right, hold on. Let me follow the camera. Oh, wait. I know. I knew you were going for that. <laughs> Burmese glass. A beautiful little bud vase. Hand painted with the artist's signature on the bottom. Wow. Yes. Please, thank you for two dollars. Easily spotted. So, what am I looking for now? Oh, this was the fountain. Oh, okay. <laughs> this was it. We found it. Oh, I've That's I've got a cart full of owls. Oh, you do. <laughs> you. Oh, pretty pretty. Nice little planter. One of the ways you can tell a mid-century planter from a planter from other periods, and we've talked about this before, sometimes they really look a lot like Art Deco planters, but the two bottom strips like that, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, if it's art like this on the bottom, but it's usually two strips. That was a very mid-century thing. This one, I can't see what it has. It's USA. USA, yeah. I'm sure. And then OP. We'll have to take the price tag off. Nice, nice piece. Mm. All right. There's one. Oh, that's got good weight to it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's lovely. It, this one looks like um, what is it they call this? The squash design. Mm -hmm. Um, I think if it were a little more orange, they'd be calling it the pumpkin design. <laughs> that is a nice piece. And I don't believe these were originally designed as planters. These, I believe they, they had that piece of the forest frog. foam yep. or the frog in it and held a flower arrangement. Again, mid-century era. And this one looks handmade. Are you hand- Oh, yes, you yes, are. Yes, it is marked. Yes. Gerard, mm -hmm. is that a J? Yeah, I think so. It's a pretty I like piece. the shape of it. Oh yes, so do I. It's a very crude shape. This, um, they did this, this is coil. Mm -hmm. And they just get a coil and wrap and wrap and wrap and then hand form it. Very nice. I like the glaze too. Yeah, it's a thick heavy right. glaze. So let's see, owls. Lots of owls. That one's resin. Mm. I think it's modern, but... But it's an owl. <laughs> it's an owl. Let's and then take we got a look a vintage at... one. Wait, we got a blind. His lid's not on real well. All right, it's okay. I'm going to hold your lid. <laughs> nice. He's nice. not marked, I'm assuming, Japan. I wouldn't. Really? so fast. It's... Well, maybe it's it's the weight. The weight is right yes. for Japan. Yes, that's what I was thinking. The style is very much like the stuff that was coming out of the American potteries in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. Nice piece. Regardless of the origin, let's see our little friend here. Now that Hello. one I'd say Japan. 
Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> well, there's a sticker that says it, so now, um, <laughs> that helps. This is uh, New Orleans. It's not New Orleans. It's New Orleans. And this was a major Japanese importer in the 50s and 60s. So here's their sticker right there. Mm -hmm. New Orleans. You're, it's very tempting for me to, to look at that and say New Orleans, but it's <laughs> New Orleans. Major importer. Uh, and their stuff is really nice. Good haul. Thank you. All right. And I notice none of the cactus. None of the cactus. Originally, as soon as I saw the modern sticker on them, I was like, nope. <laughs> yes, there are modern stickers on them. All right. Well, here we have. Oh, it's broken. Darn it all. That was a pretty nice, uh, nice ashtray. And I know who makes this. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. That happens to me all the time. Darn it all. Oh, Halloween. We love Halloween. Let's see what we can find in Halloween. I'm trying really hard to hold the camera steady for you guys. All right. Um... I still don't know what this means. I know everybody always points it out in all the videos. What does that mean? I don't know, honestly. I'm not quite sure. Next time I'll ask Casey. What do we have here? Oh, it's a belt. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Halloween is a little bit sparse today. Not finding a whole lot here. Lots of hats. A couple of ceramic pieces. This guy's cute, but uh, he doesn't really strike my fancy. He's not like spooky Halloweeny. He's just there. Let's check out this side again. Not a whole lot. Hmm. This is cute. Alright, don't think we're going to do much in the way of Halloween today, but we've still got the lamps to check out, so let's go over that way. Ah, unfortunately this is a modern lamp made to look old. <coughs> hmm, no. What have you found? Oh, well, wait before you start. Yes. My battery is low. Just so you know. I'll, let you, right. know, I'll let you know if it dies. But I'm just giving it. Right. I have if got a dies, spare. We'll I've got a spare. I've got a spare. Okay. Here is a lesson in breaking the rules. This is what I found. This lovely melamine plate. Stack. Look at that. And then this white plate of no description. Oh, well, you look at that. And look what is sandwiched sandwich. inside it. It's a sandwich. And remember, we've talked about these pieces that had rice mm -hmm. embedded in them. And the oh, rice disappears touch. when you fire it mm -hmm. and leaves a little indentation. Oh. Ta da! Hiding, which is why you <laughs> break the rules. Sue's a rule breaker. Sue's the rule breaker with a very pretty plate for 97 cents. <laughs> And two more plates that are just going to come back yeah, to Goodwill. You might as well leave as them here and be like, I only want this I, one. I should. <laughs> I'll check it out and I'll leave them and they can have this. But rule breaking 101. 101 in rule breaking. Brought to you by Sue. It's a nice little sort of mid-century piece. I think they were designed to yes. be stacked around you know something. I know that? How do you know that? Because I have the set that goes with it. Do you? I do. That was a very pretty little piece. <laughs> what do you think? It is a nice pretty little piece. I mean, I figured and, for 97 cents it oh, can absolutely. sell Oh, absolutely. And people break. They'll break one of the little trays. And they will need another. And they will need a replacement. But I think this is a nice little they, standalone piece. And they usually have the mold marks on the bottom. Yes. Yes. So you could put that in eBay and somebody looking for that particular little tray who has the set and the number, one of them could find it. That's right.
But as I say, I think it's a nice Oh, it's nice either way. Yeah, absolutely. on its own. Absolutely. All right. Nicely done. So, we haven't wasted too much of your battery. No, we're still good. I've got a spare in my pocket. So, once you're running out of this one, we'll bring it back to life. So I just spotted these down on the bottom row here, and now these make me nervous, and I'm gonna show you why. They look old, right? And they look vintage, but watch. They've got a modern Made in China sticker on the bottom. That freaks me out. Don't like that. All right, so I kinda like these plates for $4. <laughs> uh, I'm kinda thinking for me, but I guess if they're worth enough, I would sell them. They see Langley made in England, super duper heavy, and really good quality. Um, I can't even lift them with one hand if that's any indication. So I'm gonna grab these. Uh, like I said, if they're worth money, I'll probably end up selling them, but otherwise I'm just gonna keep them for my own use. I'd love to find a set like of plates and stuff that go with them, but I don't think we're gonna have that luck. I'm gonna peek down here on the bottom shelf. See if we can spot anything and then I think we're gonna get out of here. It's time to move on to the community aid. Yep, nothing down there. Nothing up here. Let's go find Sue. Yes. What do you have there? I have a match for your piece. Look at that. A white match. Yes, it's good. So I checked it. it. Oh, that just says 25. I think yes. it has a mark, like a sticker. An original sticker, but it's not. No, it's just a regular sticker. it's just sticker. a regular sticker. All right. So. Wonderful. Thank you, Sue. You are so welcome. No, I have a matchy match. And this one. Oh, my gosh. Which is checking out <laughs> with me going home with you. That you got to so know delightful. she's going to kill for that. Oh, yes. She's going to take it to school with her. I'm sure she is. And all the other kids are going to be terrified. Actually, they're kindergartners. All the other kids are going to be way jealous. <laughs> you got to realize that is a awesome. six-year-old kid's dream come true. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh. oh, it's got fangs. Yes. Oh. It's got a peace symbol. Nice. It's got a bow on its, it's horn. Groovy. It's groovy. This is a groovy monster. This is just... <laughs> oh, she's going to be the hit of the kindergarten class. She really I is. I love it. I think we did very well in there. I think I we really did do. too. Um, I, when first pass around, I thought, oh, we're in trouble, nothing here. <laughs> but by the time we got out of there, I think so. Yeah, I've got four bags full of goodies. Yeah. So I feel pretty confident that we did all right. All right. Um, anyway, we are going to stop this video here, but we are heading on to the community aid, so you can stay tuned for that video tomorrow. Uh, and we will see you then. Later. <laughs>